What's in my mallet bag video, back to school edition. Where is it? My very first pair of sticks from 12 years ago. And it came off during one of the middle of my xylophone solos on stage. Just very embarrassing. A stick bag that has five pairs of mallets, one pair of drumsticks, and a whole bunch of accessories for under $200. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of The Studio. My name is Adam, and it's time for a very special back to school edition of What's in My Mallet Bag. Thank you so much to my studio VIPs, Zero Gravity Percussion, Robert Utomo, Will Flinner, Bradley Crowley, Ryan Carlisle, Greg Harris, Arthur Lipner, Doms Dominic Chung, Dean P. Newberger, and Scott Rader. Thank you so much for your continued support. And today's featured studio artist is Bill Sanders. Thank you so much for your continued support. And if you'd like to become a studio VIP or a studio artist, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Antan, or you can click over here. Welcome back to the show once again. I hope you've been well. And yes, it is time for yet another What's in my mallet bag video, back to school edition. School has just started again for a lot of you guys and some of you guys might be starting percussion in a brand new school. Some of you guys might be restarting at the same school after a well-deserved holiday. It's a really exciting time. And as percussionists and percussion students, gear is so integral to our livelihood. Whether it's mallets or sheet music or snare drum sticks, we need to always have stuff on hand. On today's episode, for all of you budget conscious percussionists out there, I'm gonna show you a stick bag that has five pairs of mallets, one pair of drumsticks, and a whole bunch of accessories for under $200. And also it's a really small compact setup which you can take with you anywhere like things like summer intensives, festivals, competitions, music tours for your school. It's just a really handy setup. This bag is actually my very first mallet bag. This mallet bag has been with me for the last 12 years. Woo! Funny story, I actually got this bag when it was on sale on eBay for $10 because the shop was closing down and I really wanted to have this big Zildjian logo because I thought it looked so cool in school being like, ooh, I have a Zildjian bag, ooh. Turns out Zildjian is like the Toyota of percussion and like everyone has one. <laughs> Before we get into the stick bag, of course, this video is not sponsored at all. But if you are interested in buying any of these products, the links to buying all of them are in the description below. Okay, starting out with, of course, the most important thing, which is a stick bag. Now, I know a lot of people who start out percussion like to carry all their things in tote bags or just their own personal backpack, and that's fine, but it is really inconvenient when you have to go to things like rehearsals or concerts and you need to pull out your mallets and then pack them away afterwards. These days, stick bags are so cheap and so readily available and it definitely looks a lot more organized to rock up to rehearsals with a neatly organized stick bag. So this particular stick bag is just a generic Zildjian folding stick bag. Inside it has these little compartments which hold your mallets and it also has some hooks which you can tie onto the end of a floor tom. Now that's obviously more for drum set players but it's nice that the option is there. And on the front of it, you have this little Velcro pouch, which can be used to store accessories. Now, there are a whole bunch of stick bags exactly like this one. You don't have to get the Zildjian branded one. There's one made by Liberty One. There's one made by Minel. There's one made by Vic Firth, Promark. I think literally every brand in the world makes a stick bag like this, and they're usually around $10. And if you're gonna get one of these $10 stick bags, make sure it has an accessories pouch because you always have to carry a bunch of small accessories with you so it's much better to have it on the front instead of inside and you have to go like where is it okay once you have the stick bag the next thing you need are some accessories which are conveniently stored in this front pouch earplugs now i made a video about cheap versus expensive ear protection over here but Ear protection is so, so important when you're a percussionist. It's not uncommon for people to go deaf by the end of high school because they did not protect their ears. Now, personally, I roll with the ear razors, which are a very, very comfortable pair of hybrid earplugs that are reusable and washable and all that good stuff. But of course, I know these earplugs are quite expensive. They come in at about 50 US dollars. So I always recommend just getting these really cheap foam earplugs, which you can buy from anywhere. You can buy them from like a variety store for like a dollar or you can even get them for free. One of the other things I would recommend, which is probably more optional, are finger protectors. This is great for when you're learning Stevens grip and you want to avoid those kinds of calluses in the middle of your hands. If you want to find out more about this finger protection thing, there's a video about it over here. The next thing I always carry in my accessories pouch is a microfiber cloth. Now I've been wearing glasses since I was in primary school and it's just really good to have 
a cleaning cloth everywhere you go, especially in your stick bag because you can just use them to clean anything, including my glasses, the camera lens, literally any glass surface. And these are practically free as well. You can get them from glasses shops usually if you ask them nicely, can I please have some free cleaning cloths? They'll usually just give it to you. The next thing I always carry, a more percussion related thing is a metronome. Metronomes come in all shapes and sizes. This is one that I got from Japan. It's a Seiko metronome. <laughs> I really like the size of this metronome and I also like the color and it was 20 bucks. But if you don't want to spend on the metronome, get a metronome app on your phone. There are heaps of metronome apps on your phone. For example, I use Soundbrenner on my Android phone and there's plenty of other free metronome apps which are just as good and then plug in your earphones and you're good to go. The next accessory I have in my bag is a drum key. Drum keys, okay, I guess they're not really free but you can get them for like one or two dollars off Amazon or eBay or AliExpress and they all kind of do the same thing, like a drum key is a drum key. I do have some fancier ones like speed winding sorts that are a little bit more big but for your everyday stick bag you just need a small one like this. Situations where you need to use a drum key, of course tuning drums obviously, <laughs> as well as fixing any sort of percussion hardware such as drum stools, kick pedals, all of these things use drum keys to tighten them up so it's always good to have one on hand. And the final thing that I carry in the accessories pouch is of course a pencil. Seriously, I think it is really important to have a pencil with you at all times, anytime you are doing rehearsals, whether it's in an orchestra, whether it's in a small chamber ensemble, or even just a duo rehearsal, or even just practicing on your own, it's always good to have a writing implement to make any sort of annotations to your music. And I'm guilty of it too. Sometimes I forgot to pack a pencil in my bag and it was just embarrassing having to ask my friends for pencils and they would always give me this look like, <sighs> I guess you can have a pencil. So just carry your own one, preferably one with an eraser on the back. This is a Marimba One pencil. Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> but pencils are so common, so just get one and keep it inside your stick bag. Okay, so that's the accessories pouch of the stick bag, which basically costs nothing. So <laughs> let's move on to the interior of the stick bag. Okay, so let's start off with the cheapest component of the stick bag, which is of course, snare drum sticks. So this pair of snare drum sticks here is one of my favorite pairs of snare drum sticks because as you can tell by the appearance, it is my very first pair of sticks from 12 years ago. And they still work, like they're still very, very usable sticks. They are obviously very torn towards the ends, but the tips are pretty much intact. I can still use these any day of the week and they only cost $10. I'm forever grateful to my parents for buying me these sticks on my first day of school. I was so happy when I had them. On my first year of university, I switched to the SD1s, which are the thicker, more original feeling snare drum stick. These are also $10, but they're a bit heavier. And as you can see, they're also a little bit longer and they have bigger heads. So pick either one of these, but most importantly, this was only $10. And look how long these have lasted me for, over 12 years. The next thing inside my stick bag are marimba mallets. I think a good sweet spot for people buying their first set of marimba mallets is not too cheap and not too expensive. So around 40 US dollars can get you a pair of mallets that will not only last your school life but also part of your professional career. This is one of my favorite sets of mallets. It's called the Vic Firth Robert Van Size series, which is about 40 US dollars a pair. And I have the M112, 113, and 114 models. And if 40 US dollars is too much, you can opt for the slightly cheaper version of the Van Sizes, which is of course the Vic Firth Virtuoso series, which is closer to 30 US dollars. And I think those mallets are practically the same thing. I've never had to try them myself, but from first appearances, looks pretty similar. If the monotonal style of mallets is not your thing and you want something that's more multi-tonal, then something like the Malatex Stevens series is a really good starting mallet as well because it has many hardnesses in one mallet. These are the Malatex LS15s, which can cover a hardness from medium soft all the way up to a hard. Whereas these mallets, the Van Sizes, only have one hardness. And the other thing is, of course, there are obviously much cheaper mallets that you can buy that are around the 20 to 30 US dollar range, things like the Innovative Fundamental series, the Bolter Basics. But I would not buy any of those mallets because the sound is not great. I've used the Innovative Fundamental and the Bolter Basics before. It's just not a very pleasant experience. And I think for just $10 more, you can have something that you can really enjoy playing, which will encourage you to practice more, encourage you to play more, and it will last longer. So. Nah. Next up in the bag, we also have some 
Vibraphone mallets. So I know marimba is obviously the most popular instrument when it comes to keyboard percussion, but vibraphone exists too, okay? Vibraphone is important. You get to play it a lot in band, in orchestra. And of course, because vibraphone is a metal instrument and there's not so much to do with graduation like there is on marimba where the lower part rings longer than the higher part, it means the mallets are a lot simpler and a lot cheaper. Now these are a familiar sight for a lot of you guys. It's of course my Mike Bolter 23Rs. I think they're called the Pro Vibe series. Obviously Mike Bolter mallets doesn't exist anymore, but Bolter mallets exist and yes, they still make the 23R mallets. A very, very popular vibe mallet since like, I think it's like the 1970s or 80s. These mallets in the rattan variety come in at just 35 US dollars a pair. So if you get two pairs of these, that's less than 70 US dollars and these will last you for a very long time as you can see. <laughs> the final pair of mallets I have inside the bag is a set of orchestral mallets. Now these are the Vic Firth M132s. It's a more recent acquisition of mine. I got these like three years ago. I haven't really used them much but they're a really good example of the $30 or so price range of xylophone mallets. But I think of these more as orchestral general purpose mallets because not only can they be used for xylophone, but they can also be used on things like glockenspiel, quartals, cymbals, gongs, chimes, even vibraphone for things like pitch bending and overtones, and also just as a pair of rattan sticks. And the other question I get is, why don't you just buy the cheapest unwired mallets? I mean, unwired mallets can just be of any quality, right? Why don't we just get a $10 generic pair instead of buying a $30 pair. One time I actually bought a wooden pair of xylophone mallets, like one with rosewood heads. And this 10 to $15 rosewood xylophone mallet didn't even last a week before the wooden head literally flew off the mallet because it wasn't glued on properly. And it came off during one of the middle of my xylophone solos on stage, just very embarrassing. Make sure you get a decent pair so the heads don't go <laughs> So yes, that is my $200 back to school student oriented mallet bag setup, which has five pairs of mallets, one pair of drumsticks, and a whole bunch of accessories. It's an absolute steal for a very decent starter pack that will last you at least 12 months at the very least, if not longer throughout your percussion career. So once again, the links to everything that I mentioned in this video are in the description below, including any applicable reviews or videos that I've made of these products. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And I love doing this every year, but put down in the comments your own stick bag setup. What do you carry in your stick bag every week to your rehearsals, to your performances, whether you're a professional, whether you're just a student starting out or whether you're somewhere in between, I'd love to see what your setups are. So let me know down in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please hit that red subscribe button below to keep up with my uploads and hit that notification bell to make sure you're informed of whenever I upload new videos. Because on this show, we review all kinds of stuff. We watch all kinds of cool percussion videos. I'm also releasing a brand new solo very soon. It's a bit of a secret, but I can't wait to share it with you guys. Thank you so much for watching today's episode and I'll see you guys next week for another episode of The Studio. Good night. I finally stopped running now With you I found my peace somehow Let go of every thought that was holding me back yeah. I'm in love with you in every way The joy you give me every day